Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and I'm just deciding what to do. We actually have a lot on our plates. A couple notes, though. Completing Jack and Miranda's loyalty mission will trigger their huge bitch-ass hissy fit, so make sure you have maximum Diplo, either good or bad, or Paragon or Renegade, before you do both Jack and Miranda's missions. The other set of the triggers is Tally and uh, the crew member we haven't recruited yet. Keep that in. That's less of a problem though, because that's that's really end game we're talking about. I think today we're just gonna go help Jacob. And as I might have mentioned before, on this run everybody comes home from the suicide mission. Everybody, all day, every day. I really don't care enough to mine out this place. Besides, it's near a mass relay, which means I can get to it really easily. I might bother with Alpha Draconis. And I might just not. Ooh. Forbidden mass relays that let the uncharted space. Within the habitable zone, it looks pretty too. Let's check it out. MSV Hugo Gernsback. General distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Registration BW4610034087. Impact and unscheduled suborbital deceleration recorded. General distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Registration BW4610034087. There's also a shitload of Ezo. Scans have found something. I love how we mine the ship in distress for its Ezo. I can't imagine that's helpful. Yeah. I guess I'll bother to mine everything afterwards if I do. And for this op, obviously we're taking Jacob. And we're going to be fighting mechs, pretty much. So, our three main anti-mech specialists are Garrus, Zaid, and of course Tali. None of them are loyal, though. Have I done a mission with Samara yet? I don't remember. It doesn't look like I have. Um... I'm not really that much of a fan of Samara, but yeah, I gave everyone a shot. Okay, I am. Even though we're going to be fighting mechs, I'm going for advanced warp. Totally going for it. Warp damage is increased to 200 points. When warp detonates, biotic effects. I've never been able to reliably do that, so I'm just going to increase my warp power, and I think that'll be fine. As for Jacob, pull is a really nice ability. I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, I think that's okay. What does Justicar give you? Justicar actually gives you some really badass abilities. So we're going to get you pull, and then upgrade your Justicar completely. Reducing recharge time, or increasing weapon damage. I'm going for recharge time. That is... That is some good business. I'm going to go for pull, and then... I'm going to say throw. And there we go. Make sure everybody... She does have assault rifles, which is badass. Alright. Scimitar, assault, shotgun, and pistol. And I'm loaded out with... I gotta admit, in terms of sniper rifles, the Mantis... I can't... <laughs> apparently hit things. This will be good training though. This is basically the bolt action sniper. It's also the one you start the game with. It is immensely powerful though. 
And the rest of the loadout is pretty simple business. Let's head down and check out what this crashed ship means. guys let's go this reminds me of the unknown world from uh, KOTOR even though it's just the one ship it is a uh... there it is and mostly intact they could have survived impact but it's been years this place looks like it might have food looks like it was stripped after the crash they'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible I see a log. I also see a VI holographic person over there. But first... Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as... What the Sounds ominous. Before we talk to that VI, I want to head inside the ship itself. What's left of it? Jesus. People were in this when it crashed and they lived? mission so I know it's exactly what's happened and I think you guys can start piecing it together too as we listen to these logs especially Saved. Also, prepare for this to not be a happy mission, by the way. I saw something. I don't like the sounds this wreck is making. Can't expect the luxury of do 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 process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Cap Cap Captain Fairchild knew this crew crew crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him. So that's three logs from inside plus the one outside. And yet another repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. What? Override. Beacon resumed. Pause time: eight years, two hundred thirty-seven days, seven hours. Resumed after that much time? From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. 
Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. We know it. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Let's take Give it in order. Details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Yeah. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Apparently. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Oh. Oh. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Hmm. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon right. activate. Pause in beacon protocol. I thought protocol it would tell me something else. As no. Record deleted. Come on, let's get going. My father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It is unlikely anyone could avoid the effects for so long. Normally the second character in a loyalty mission doesn't have a lot to say, but occasionally they'll chime in and that's good. We don't have a real map. That just looks uns Wow, I can see birds and shit up there, yeah. But the local food is toxic. And this is the only path we have forward, so let's go. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What? What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's... Our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Whoa. Watch out. Whoa, whoa. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them. Agents of the liar. He will not escape. We've been spotted. Whoa. Goddamn right we've been spotted, Shep. Let's put that incendiary ammo on. There we go. That's the power of the bolt action sniper. If I can get Shepard into a position where she will... Oh, God damn it, Jacob. That was you. Oh, and then you die? Are you shitting me? Jacob, I want to register how completely disappointed I am in you. Oh, also, this rifle has, like, no ammo capacity whatsoever. Really? Ah, uh, well, it is heroic difficulty, I suppose. I want to use up all my sniper. This laser sight always was rather hard to aim. And yes, that is my excuse. 
do you ask? Oh, frack. Okay, I don't have any time for the fancy stuff anymore. I'm being flanked. Let's try out that heavy war. There we go. Oh, fuck. This is the problem. Oh. <laughs> Dipshit. Congratulations on dropping my shields, genius. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That dude lines up a clear shot on me with that thing, and I'm done. Especially if Shepard misses. That was a good miss, Shepard. There you go. This isn't as humiliating as the fight in the alley, because there's tons of them. I remember mildly disliking this game's this uh, mission's gameplay. Oh, there's more. There's one more. God damn it. That wouldn't work anyway. Ammo. This is like one of the first world missions I ever did. Ooh, if he just let me line up. There we go. Oh, damn it. That is such a disappointment. There we go. Really? Really? That was not neural decay. They were feral. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. I agree with that. Something is very wrong. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Yeah, good luck to us with that. Alright. I had my weapons and armor down and stuff, but now it's time to get serious about this. Also, it's time to save. Make use of quick save liberally, everybody. There's a reason they give you that function, especially on hardcore difficulty. Occasionally, I forget that this game is on hardcore difficulty. Oh, stripped mag. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. They haven't started shooting at us yet. Okay, clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. Hmm. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? Makes males get violent. Possibly. But the female on the beach said the exiled came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. I'll agree with that, certainly. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Oof. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Wow. Should've just used the meta gel back there. This is actually, as I remember, kind of a short mission. I think. What the fuck? Oh no. I heard the voice. Captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. So nobody can resist him. Well, it almost kills them. I 
wish that would... I wish something would kill that. Thank you. There we go. I think you'd better switch to your pistol, Jake. Right. needs to use violence against his own. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. I don't know, Jacob. I've been getting really bad vibes from here ever since we land. Statue, what the... What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. What... even... It doesn't look like a statue so much as a machine, but... Well, it does kind of resemble a person now that I look at it, but... Oof. Please! Here! You could end it! You have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women. Assigned them to officers. Pets. And after the beacon Jesus. is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. What? Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? never get out, but they did fix it, and the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Yeah, I can see too. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. I definitely think we do. And this is the path ahead. What if I fail this? Not that that's likely, given that I've got that upgrade that gives me extra time to do all this bullshit. Even though I'm terrible at it, and I've... I guess in my deep down in my soul, I've always hated this minigame. I mean, like, industrial-grade hate, like... The other one you can manage. Should probably get clear, guys. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. I think God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. I wonder. If I hadn't stopped to look at any of the clues, would we believe his lies? Because he's going to lie and say that, you know, he's the victim here. 
Of course he's gonna lie. That's what you can't come out. Oh, I'm evil. The posed corpse has been there a long time. A warning. These others, a month. And left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Wow. So the hunters are in the right. Even if they can't understand why they're fighting. Yeah, this is what I meant about mechs. Push him and pull him. There you go. God damn it. It's my accuracy coming into play. Target down! Shepard's kinda wigging out. It'd be really... Because there's a couple instances like this where... We know that he's lying now and he's a, he's a piece of shit. But... Like I said, would we... The, the story would probably remain unchanged, but that would be, that'd be pretty bad. Luckily, incendiary rounds are pretty good against armor and a whole, a whole bunch of things. Wow, that was a pretty awesome. That must have been a headshot, Jacob. I can't save. That means we've still got fun up ahead. I need ammo. Nothing on radar yet. Draw right. Uh, I remember very specifically fighting a Ymir mech at some point in here. I remember specifically how not fun it was. Those enemies in particular just fucking It's bad. I like the upgraded war, but now it does respectable damage. So many. Kinda wish I still had the grenade options from the last game. I miss again. Hitting these guys' heads, the, the payoff doesn't warrant missing all the time, since their head is so tiny, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're being overrun. Jacob, switch back to the shop. What's your other weapon? I forgot. I think it was an SMG, so that's not gonna help. Because assault rifles are just better SMGs, pretty much. They really fulfill the same tactical role in this game. In real life, they have very different tactical roles. Oh my god! Please tell me this isn't infinite. That would make me sad. Frack you! I'll learn ya. This might be useful. Fun. Now he wants out. Son of a bitch. It's terrible to see what a father can turn into. Given the right opportunities. Oh, my tech armor. Still can't quick save, so this whole section gotta do it in one. Which effectively means if I die here, then things get bad. Oh, that was a direct hit. God damn it. If we keep backing off, we'll have some nice chances for missing. Ah, 
Okay, just focus, line the shots, line the shots up. Kind of good target practice. Miss. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Can I make the shot with a pistol? Screw it. Trouble coming. Killed one. There we go. Thank you. Well, where the hell are you guys going? No, where the hell are? You? Well, you led me back to ammo. Guess they knew I would need a ton after that performance. Rack another shell in, and then switch. I'm just so happy to have a sniper rifle. I will admit that freely. Still can't save. I really don't like that. I'm not a fan. I love it when I can kill enemies without getting hurt. Bam, and I think I detonated those abilities, so... I guess with Jacob and, uh... Samara would be the ideal time... ...to do the detonating warp thing. Yeah. Jacob, are you back to your shotgun? I think I ordered you to do that, but I... Man, maybe I'm the one who ate the toxic food. Not my father. Got to have my medical station here, so there's Medigel available. Okay, when we get into that area, I believe this gate will close. I think. Uh, which means it's time to be ready. I think there's some way you can see the mech and shoot at it first. There's a couple missions where you can exploit things like that, and I totally would. No, it doesn't look like they spawn in. Okay, I finally got a quick save in. Okay, so if I die here... Distinctly possible. Oh no, it doesn't close. <laughs> Oh, actual literal guards. Oh, man. I thought we were still talking droids. Jacob. It's nice that these guys actually have individualized dialogue. Okay, there's the Ymir. God damn it. We have kind of little space to fight it. Well, we can backtrack. God damn it, and I'm the only one with abilities that hit shields. Okay. I'm, go I'm gonna deploy some heavy weapons here. I think I'm gonna have to ring this fucker around the rosy. Yeah. I don't think there's any doubt of that. Samara's down. Oh no, I'm down. I promptly miss. Samara's still up. Where is she? Oh, she's dead ahead. Okay, Samara, if you can take care of those guys, or at least keep them off my balls. Appreciate oh, shit. Oh, you're shitting me. Okay. I'm authorizing the deployment of Metagel. Alright, I can hit this thing from above it. That's good, that's good. Like I said, just keep him the frack off me, guys. God damn it. 
I miss because I fire from the hip like a genius. Okay, once. Oh god. At least the other ones aren't pressing forward too badly. Once we kill this guy, things should get better. There we go. Fuck you. Okay. Okay. That was by far the toughest part. Everybody just stay cool. Nice. That was a direct fucking hit. Fuck you. That's a huge range on the tech pulse, even though I didn't choose assault armor. I just chose the one that gave it more durability overall. I see something up ahead, and I'm hoping that's the end of it. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Yeah, that feat was pretty hard to justify. Okay. A little bit of ammo. Go back and grab that meta gel real quick. Every bit helps. And I believe that's the end of it. I'm totally saving just in case it isn't. No, I'm sure that's the end of it. There he is. Field is clear! You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. 
Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. We can help these people. Servers can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. We can put him in for arrest. We can leave him here. Or we can shoot him ourselves. We'll secure him for an Alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Alright, Jacob is now loyal, and I'm a little bit depressed. Just a bit. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. But... Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it, so who did? I did. Oh. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. Doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Like a male shepherd. Come on, we got work to do. Aye, right, Commander. Shepherd. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. We're bros. Since pretty much the very beginning of the game, we've been bros. We should probably go talk to him, too. Everybody has stuff to say after they complete their uh, loyalty missions. 
Heavy pistol damage. Very useful. I'm not even close to finishing the goddamn research. I don't know how. 50% heavy pistol damage against armor. Goddamn. This is some good business. Just make sure we have everything that we can... Or that anything that we can't get, it's because we can't afford it. There it is. Advanced training will give us somebody's loyalty power. But I'm waiting for warp ammo, which is Jack's power. Ah, uh, now that I think about it, I really should have done Jack's loyalty mission and not Miranda's. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. But Normandy already has you, Kelly. <laughs> you are just too sweet. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Don't I always? Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? Great. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need any. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. You just told me. Yeah. Oh. Oh, tombs. First game. Had a gun on a Cerberus scientist. Told him we understood. Now we're working for Cerberus. Yeesh. Great. And from Anaya, that cop that was almost murdered for literally no reason by Samara. Yeah, I'm real lucky to have the murderer who just, you know... Oh, cops, you know, if they get in your way, just, you know... What can you say? Shouldn't have gotten in her way. No, seriously, that's gonna bug the shit out of me for the entire game. What the fuck? Huh. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? What do you think of the state of the crew? Yeah, unless all distractions are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Run this team through hell, and all we're getting is burned. Anything else, Commander? Great. We'll talk later. Commander. If you want to pursue a loyalty with, uh, a romance with someone, like say Jacob, you will have to do their loyalty mission or their dialogue will just be stuck. Samara wants a moment with you, Commander. I'm sure she does. Well, why not? It's my personal job to help everyone in the galaxy with every problem they've ever had, especially the people who join my crew. Uh, observation deck. We could probably pop in and see Kasumi too. It's been a while. I was just thinking about you. Oh, yeah? So, you and Kelly, huh? Sounds like you two had a nice date. I thought she was coming on to me at first, but maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. I think that's how she treats everybody. Liara Tussoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. So pretty. I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. Not as bad as if you were in a romance with Caden or, uh, Ash, and then you run into them. Ooh. Uber douche. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Such a beautiful view. I would go get drunk, too. That's typically what I would really do if I had to go talk to Samara, but I think we'll be fine. Oh, there you are. What's this area of the ship? This is one of the ship's observation decks. They provide a sweeping outside view for off-duty personnel. This room is a structural weakness. Any transparent material is weaker than our armor. 
The elusive man predicted you would object. In combat, the observation rooms are sealed and depressurized. Sheets of ablative armor are extended to cover the windows. Good. Uh oh. Almost tripped on her. I am glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. Oh. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Oh. Okay, I will admit that is important. What the hell? I wasn't aware it was possible to highlight text. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. Sounds so like is you, an yeah. Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Marin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Ooh. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings, they will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. Oh. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's you condition can have my is scorn. my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back bask and enjoy my family but in one moment it was all taken away it sounds terrible I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be I gave up all that I possessed I owe nothing claim nothing all my knowledge will die with me now my purpose is to destroy my own children those moments change you and I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. You really Help need a friend. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Yeah. 
Sheesh. Omega? Oh, goody. Because I was just thinking how much I missed Omega. And I thought it was a great place and a great addition to the game. Also, Family Issues edition of uh, Mass Effect 2, everybody. I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them. Creepy. I think that'll be a good end to this session, though. Yet another loyalty mission is done, everybody. We've still got a long way to go before this crew is ready to rock. And Mass Effect 3 is coming up faster than I'd like, frankly. I really had better get on this. Get everything done. Let's review. That's four loyal. Counting the one that's not here yet, that's eight that need to be loyal. Plus a recruitment mission. Plus Layer of the Shadow Broker and Arrival. Plus the actual fracking story. What a story mark. You know what, Jacob? That does look a little more stylish. I approve. So there's that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's play Mass Effect 2. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and I'll see you guys next time.